I'm Natalie and if you would like to know how to create Christmas cards on Canva for your red bubble POD or just for home printing stay tuned coming up next okay so you clicked on this video because you want to know how to make greeting cards specifically Christmas cards in Canva well you came to the right place I'm gonna use my iPad to make most of my designs on camera it's just easier it's a little bit different than using the desktop or laptop you use a touch screen and not your mouse or your mouse pad but it's just a few features that are a little that work a little bit different but it's in in principle it's the same and um, I'm guessing you know what red bubble or POD is because otherwise why would you click on this video so I don't have to explain that anymore print on demand right of course you can use this to just you print your own because canva actually has their own service where you can print your own um artwork or design or whatever you have you could uh, order uh, business cards posters all kinds of stuff it's just prints mugs i think i don't know maybe t-shirts that is a whole bunch like it's on the side of the of Canva, it shows if you want to print it. There's an option. I have no idea. I never used their printing service. I might do that in the future. It would be interesting to know how that is. Then it goes directly from one place to the other. You don't have another middleman. <coughs> but of course, they don't. You, they send it to you. They don't send it somewhere else. I'm guessing. So it's just nice for home use if you wanna. Don't have to go buy it on your on your print on demand site. You can just print it for yourself get it printed for yourself and they send it to you like if Christmas cards or maybe some specific artwork print you would like to print out just for yourself or as a gift okay so enough talking let's get into it and go on my iPad here we are in my Canva app you can also just go to their website and use it directly from there this design is going to be a guide for our next design we're going to do which is be more in the ugly sweater, Christmas sweater niche slash greeting card. I'm going to select 4000 by 3500 so to make sure it fits onto the card. So here we are. I'm going to look for wallpaper that kind of uh, represents ugly sweaters. And I make sure it's free and static. So I kind of like this red one here. I'm just going to try to fit it on here. I'm moving it around I decided to do this kind of as the table cloth and just kind of move it down a little bit and then I'm just kind of looking for some uh, more brighter design on the top so I sort of for the um, wallpaper I'm just moving and checking it out I'm kind of like these snowmans there's owls there's a whole bunch so if you just search on the element tab for the different designs so i decided to use this the snowman one but i didn't like the colors because they kind of clash so i'm looking for something blue and you can see at the color mix tab you can just change the colors and turn it into blue sometimes you can change the whole col color scheme but this one wouldn't let me do that so now i'm just arranging it on the page and make sure it kind of fits properly on there and i kind of wanted it more the simple design to see uh, so I can, you know, write on there, put text in it, make it uh, kind of easier to see. Now I'm looking for the cup because remember in the previous design we had a cup and then just put Christmas drinks. Again, I'm going to elements and looking for one that I kind of like and goes with the theme. First, I thought this one might be cool as a kind of a retro style but uh, then i decided now nah, i want one with that has the um, whipped cream on top but again i didn't want to go with the red so i just changed it to blue going back to the color mix and just clicked on that and then it changed it to this i kind of like looks better on there kind of a more of a contrast so you can actually see it next we're gonna need a plate we also had a plate in that other design where I can put my cookies on. I 
kind of, first I thought this one would be a good idea, but it kind of wasn't the right angle. So I went with this one, but see now, you can see when I clicked on that and moved it on here, you can see on top there's colors you can collect, uh, that you can select. So you just click on each of these colors and then you can change them to the ones you like. And I decided these ones because they go with the design. Now I'm looking for some cookies. And these ones kind of fit perfectly on here. There's like three in one. I just decided not to put more than those three. Kind of would have, I don't know, it just seemed a little too busy. Now I'm just moving the plate around and make sure it kind of fits the way I want it. Kind of moving the designs around to make sure they, yeah, kind of fit the way I want it. Then I decided, well, I think it needs a candy cane. Who doesn't like candy cane? First I thought I wanted to hang it up there, but then I decided, no, how about just sticking it into the drink? Then, so you're moving, every time you click on it, you move it around. As long as you don't lock it in, you can move it as much as you want. Change the colors. You can see now they popped up on the top so I could change them to make them more kind of fit with the whole color scheme I already have going on. I just keep changing it. I'm not, I wasn't sure if I should do the black one or the red one and just, I don't know. It's hard to decide sometimes, too, too many choices. <laughs> but I definitely think this design, um, yeah, it is, goes perfectly with the ugly Christmas sweater theme and niche that's going on on Red Bubble right now. Now I uh, need something um, more greenery, I think. So I'm going to check for some hollies and here we go. I decided to use these ones, but I changed the colors again. Again, you can see on the top, you can change the colors with this design. So try to match them sort of with the background. So with, whenever you want to look for a new design element, just make sure you go to this elements and type in what you need and what you want, and then you can decide. There's also, in elements, there's also photos you can use or animation, but you have to make sure you just kind of filter out what you need. Now I'm gonna see what kind of text I would like. So I decided on this one and just see what colors I should um, use. You just change it, change it on the top if you can see there. You just click on the letter and then you can change the colors. And then I just typed in the right proper words I wanted to use. And there was a little element attached to that. So I made sure that to delete that by just clicking on the delete button and then it lights up if you wanna delete the whole group of text or just that one element. So then I had a hard time deciding where to put that holly, up or down, or so I decided to do this, the text a little more staggered. But I think it's just should have left it, left it right there where I have it right now. But unfortunately, I think I moved it around. Sometimes it's just yeah, I'm trying to be a perfectionist, and then sometimes just screw it up. But that's okay. You live and learn. <laughs> So I forgot to mention that I'm using the pro version, but there is a free version you can use, that's no problem. I just need the pro version because I use it for th thumbnails, for my YouTube and other things, and I just like the pro version. There is a link in my description down there for a free trial for 30 days for the pre -ver pro version if you're interested. So make sure you check out the affili affiliate link down there. And here we go, we got the finished product. Now we're gonna go into Redbubble, download the design. I didn't uh, fill out all the title and description. I just put ugly Christmas sweater. Today we're just going to concentrate on making the greeting cards, creating the greeting cards. So I'm just going to put a quick title in here. I have to spell properly. This is always a problem when you're not, English is not your first language. So now we're going to go down and you can see that they're not all fitting properly and that's okay because I'll do that later. 
like I like some of them I'm just gonna keep them so I'm just gonna put it on private and then I can go back in and edit it uh, I do like the way it came out on the greeting cards which you're gonna see in a minute and um, I think I liked it on the journal too then I made sure I selected the greeting cards in the collections that way it will show up on the top because I featured my Christmas greeting card collection on the top of my shop page so people can see that when they come to my page so here we go somewhere up yeah. where is it uh, there it is the greeting cards so here it is finished if you want to see more of these make sure to subscribe and let me know what kind of tutorials you would like to see related to Canva and Redbubble. Make sure you click on those videos up here. Uh, they're greeting card videos and sticker pack videos for Redbubble. So don't forget to watch them. See you over there.